Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video today and talk to people that are like me. The sensitive people, the empaths, people that are INFJ or anything of the sort. And I just wanted to touch upon something that's coming up for me today. And I think if you grow up as a sensitive person um, and an intuitive person, it comes with a lot of judgment and we can be taught from the time we're young that we need to toughen up and I want to talk about this in relation to art and I want to talk to the sensitive artists out there because I think there's this idea or this mentality that you know if you're not able to toughen up then you shouldn't be in your creative business and you shouldn't be in the entertainment business and you shouldn't be this and you shouldn't be that and we learn to numb ourselves and we learn to shield ourselves and protect ourselves to the point where it's too much. And I think I touched upon this recently and I want to continue to go further to say that yes, it's important that we set boundaries and yes, it's important that we do protect ourselves energetically and physically and, and spiritually and all this stuff. And emotionally, you know, we need to keep ourselves in check and make sure that we're not around toxic environments and toxic people. Um, however, we need to be able to express our sensitivities and to not feel ashamed about it. And we need to allow ourselves to create and to share it with the world. And for too long, we've been told and we've been telling ourselves that we shouldn't. And that we should just ha either not put our stuff out there um, out of fear that it'll be judged and we're too sensitive and all this stuff. Or we put on this fake, you know, too much protection and we act like we're really, really tough. And I mean, that's not really authentic either. So I just want to let all the sensitive artists know that we need your work. And I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking about every kind of artist and writer out there and, and no matter what you create, whether it's dance choreography or or you write poems or you're a musician or you're a visual artist, like there's so many things that you can create. These are just a few examples. And we need, the world needs this. It needs your unique gift and craft and we need to hear about your vulnerabilities and how they're expressed through your unique way and through your unique art and the world needs that and the world resonates with that and yes we do as I said we need to learn how to set boundaries and how to not take things personally especially when we're putting out our artwork into the world for the first time or even if it's just exposing it to friends and family or a spouse or what have you it can obviously be a very daunting fearful experience but the world needs it and it's so cathartic for yourself as well on your journey to heal and to put out authentic, vulnerable work. So I just want to encourage all the artists out there, especially the sensitive artists, to have the strength and courage to put out your unique, vulnerable art, whatever that may be. And to know that, yes, it's important to shield yourself, but don't shield your, yourself with like a false sense of protection and with this sense of perfectionism because that comes into the picture when you're shielding yourself too much. Uh, we can get into this perfectionistic state and say, well, I'm not going to release anything. And, and we can convince ourselves for so many different reasons why we shouldn't put ourselves out there. And, and that's the thing too, we're putting ourselves out there vulnerably, it's not just what we are creating, it's not just our creations that are going to come to light, it's ourselves, our sensitive selves are going to be seen and heard and felt. And I think we can be perfectionistic to a fault, to the point where we're not putting out our, our art and we're not putting ourselves out there, which means we're not connecting, we're not feeling connected, we're not feeling loved. And we're not feeling connected to this life force energy. So make sure you're not shielding yourself too much to the point where you're not letting in love and when you're not letting out love because you don't want to be in this, you don't want to be living in a bubble of yourself 
and your self-doubt and your fear of judgment and your perfectionism. You want to make sure that you're allowing in love and you're letting love flow out of you as well. That you're letting your creations be heard, seen, felt. That you're letting yourself be heard, seen, and felt. And that you do learn to not take things personally. However, you do allow your emotions because being sensitive is a gift and being a sensitive creator is a gift because you're healing yourself and you're healing so many others and inspiring so many others along the way. So I'm going to leave it at that. Have a great day and we'll talk soon. Bye.